I've collected Beano comets since I was a kid and uh, we've got a really rare Beano comet number one up for auction now which coincides really nicely with uh, the Beano turning 80 this week so I think it's a, a real treasure. I think the Beano is special for me because it was it was my childhood comic. I started reading it when I was nine or ten, like many children have their have their childhood comic. Um, so I sort of related to characters like Dennis the Menace and the Bass Street Kids. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just sort of stayed with me. I've sort of developed a love of the artwork, and and it's now a sort of part of me really. I, I trade in them, and that's uh, yeah, it's, it's part of my life really. Uh, the, the first edition Beena comic is, is incredibly rare. Um, there's been about 30 copies that have sort of surfaced in the last quarter of a century um, of about a print run of 450,000. So there really aren't that many left. I think the Beena comic's so special because it's, it's, it's lasted such a long time. It's, um, it's created household name characters like Dennis the Menace, Bash Street Kids, Minnie the Minx, um, and generations of children from my dad, my granddad, have all read this comic. So it really is a nation favourite. Uh, I started collecting comics as, as a 10 year old, I just became a weekly subscriber um, and then I started trawling jumble sales and car boot sales looking for old examples um, and then when I, when I upgraded my own collection I'd have a spare to sell so I'd sell them through free ads papers um, and then the internet came along with eBay and I sort of found myself dabbling a bit more um, and before I knew it I was sort of buying and selling quite a lot and it sort of developed into a bit of a hobby business on the side um, and now is, is, is my full-time business. I've, I've been trading in comics for 10 to 15 years and we now sort of sell two to three thousand a month perhaps. I think my favourite edition is probably this one. Um, it's, it's a really rare 1963 joint Dandy Beano Summer Special. So it was, it was an experiment by the publishers to, to do one Summer Special joining, almost unprecedented to join the Dandy and the Beano together. It's got a really iconic image of Dennis about to whack Desperate Dan over the head with um, the banjo as he's eating his famous cow pie. Um, and I really like the summer specials because they're big, they're bold, they're bright, they're difficult to find. Um, and and this, this happens to be, I, I use this image for my business logo because it's such, a, such an iconic image.